I just got done taking a bath. It's Sunday afternoon and I'm just lounging. So I took a nice long bath. It was like 35 minutes. Just soaked and watched slash listened to Kendall Ray. She does true crime on her YouTube channel. She also has a um, podcast as well. I don't really listen to her podcast. I mostly just watch her blog channel. I'm such a visual person that um, podcasts are hard for me to get into. It's like I need to see, I need to watch something while they talk so I can like really understand what's being said. But anyways, it was nice. I showed some of the stuff that I use, but I wanted to talk to you guys. So I used the Alvino oatmeal bath. Um, I've heard that's really good for like psoriasis and eczema and that's kind of what it's marketed to. So I like to throw that in. I don't know that I noticed a difference, but it does feel relaxing. I put in some Epsom salt and then I did just a bath bomb. And then I like to put in a little body wash just so it gets like bubbly. I don't have any like bubbles or else I would have used those instead. Oops, my towel fell. Okay, hanging that back up. Anyways, uh, I showed some products that I didn't use but uh, I want to talk about, and then I use products that I didn't show, so I want to talk about those too. So these Grace and Stella, I'll turn this light back on, but it's going to get a little yellowy, okay? But I think you'll be able to see better. Uh, these are, were a huge pack I got off Amazon a while back. They are eye masks. I didn't use them today. I think they're okay. They just slide. Even if you're just sitting there relaxing, they still just make their way down. So I'm going to use the whole pack that I got, but I don't love those. And then I got this, the Good Patch, from CVS a while ago. This is the B12 Awake. And it has caffeine, green tea, extract, vitamin B12. So when I bought these, I have heard so much about the Good Patch that I ordered this in another pack that I've already used up. And I didn't realize it was like a patch that you put on your wrist. I thought it was like a face mask. So I don't love that. Um, but uh, you're supposed to put it on the inside of your wrist. So I'm going to, I pulled it out just to remember to wear it, but just use them up. So that I showed pulling those, so I want to talk about them for a little while. Uh, but let me talk about my skincare. I'm probably not leaving the house today. I'm not too sure. I really struggle on Sundays. I feel like there's so many ideas of what to do. Like I could tidy the house or organize my closet. I could go shopping and go grab coffee or I could just lounge. And I feel like I wait so long that the only option is really lounge, which is fine. Maybe that's like what I really need. I My weeks are so structured and so appointment based and I have to be so hyper focused on time and being places and just 100% present that I think on the weekends I just don't want any, anything to do with any of that. Like, I just want to, like, detach and be, like, the other, live on the other side. So I'm, I am the employee who is always early, and I am the friend who is always late. Because I just, it's like, I guess I can't do it all the time, okay? Um, but I put some skincare on that I wanted to share with you guys. Let me grab it out. So this first thing I put on is from The Ordinary, the Hydroronic Acid. This is one that Lou sent me, and I just got it out and opened it up to use it. So I put this on first, and then I put on this Wish uh, Firming Sleep Mask. This actually came in my BoxyCharm from the summer. Not BoxyCharm, nope, nope, FabFitFun, sorry. Um, but it's a firming sleep mask. I've worn it a couple of times and it does make my skin really smooth. So I um, do enjoy using it. But I just went ahead and put it on for today just to have like a mask, some a little extra hydration on my skin. Last night I used this product for the very first time. <sighs> I've had samples of this um kate somerville exfoliate for so long and i've always heard so many people hype about it but i don't know why i just didn't use it i think i was a little nervous it would like 
be too much for my skin but I went ahead last night and I used it so you can use once or twice a week um, it's basically like little grains and you just massage them in your face for 30 seconds and then you leave it on for two minutes and then you wash it off and then I topped it with this product which um, this one Okay, I can't remember if Lou sent this or if I got it in FabFitFun, but it's the Pharmacy Halo Glow. Is that what it's called? Oh, Honey Halo, sorry. I love this, and it's magnetic at the top, so this sticks to it. And, you know, I've used pharmacy products in the past uh, that I've always just loved them. They're just so expensive that I don't always buy them. But this is so good. I really like it. But these together, when I woke up this morning, my face was so smooth. Oh my gosh, it was so magical. So that was a nice experience that I had. <laughs> um, my hair, I do want to share with you this product. This came in FabFitFun, probably the very first one or second one I got when I signed up. I signed up December 2021. I skipped the fall box this year. I might sign up for the winter one. It's just, I talked about this before, but I, I have too many products right now, and I wasn't really interested in any of the ones in this current box, but this is Caviar Hair CC Cream, and I love this stuff so much. It's a 10-in-1 complete correction leave-in, um, it's for your hair. <laughs> you apply evenly to clean, towel dry hair and style as desired. Can also be a finisher on dry hair too for added perfection. I don't really dry my hair. I just put it in and then kind of like scrunch it a little bit and then I let my hair air dry and it gives me the best texture and it I have a little wave in my hair and it really helps that be more defined so I really really like this um I think I might end up repurchasing it once I've run out but I use it sparingly so I'll probably have it for a while all right that's all I wanted to share for skincare it's fun I like having a variety of skincare but I also you know products go bad did you know products go bad <laughs> So I'm trying to just keep it together, not buy too much. I'm not, I haven't bought anything from the um, Ulta Beauty sale. It's just nothing I feel I need to have and whatever. I showed you guys in the last vlog that I bought the Neutrogena Oil Free Makeup Remover and I used it for the first time last night uh, to get the leftover mascara off and it did a great job. So happy to have this affordable things in my skincare routine. <laughs> my routine. Okay. Let's just see what we get up to next. He is always close. He is always close. I don't think I've shared this area. We used to have a shelf here that we moved to the living room. So then we moved this table in here. This is an antique table that I got from my great grandmother when she passed away. So it has some wear, obviously. It's pretty old. Um, but this is where we have like hand towels down below by Morty our, our normal towels here are all of our candles and then here are my skincare items they're just in these two bins that were in my beauty room um, but any skincare I have or I'm using just sits here and then my jewelry like the earrings I wear and all of that sits there so Pretty simple and I used to have more sitting in this corner but I like it being more minimal and then just having everything like clustered together okay I did spend the morning uh, editing vlogs so one I uploaded today as you watch this all right just turn the lamps on um so yeah one is uploaded the other one will be scheduled to upload and then this one will go up at some point. So look at us over here consistent with the vlogs. The vlog I uploaded today was when we went to that Lantern Festival. And it was the glow, glow up video. So um, we cleaned this room in that video. And 
it's somehow <laughs> somehow it's a mess again um yeah I'll show you why don't we just spend some time um organizing it's about to be officially fall and my heart falls here but officially it's not quite here the weather's not quite here either but I do want to start pulling out some of my summer clothes and sitting them to the side and decluttering them a little bit because we just have a spillage situation. So maybe I'll just spend a few minutes doing that so that this room is all organized again. I'm also in the middle of laundry. Oh my god, we have to do it every week! So I need to fold that. So I'll probably just put on a YouTube video and get this going, but let me give you the overview. I want to show you these bags real quick. I got them off Amazon whenever I was sick. Um, my friend gave me her Prime account and I was having groceries delivered because Jared and I could not go to the store. Um, but you know, when you're ordering like stuff that you have to have, you're like, oh, maybe I should get me a little treat too while I'm here. So this is from Amazon. This bag is so pretty. I will link it down below. It was $37, maybe more like $38. Um, but it's a canvas bag and I love it so much. And then I got these bags. Came in a two pack. They are, um, says workout glow, but it's to put your dirty gym clothes in. And then it's like, lined so that if you have wet clothes it won't bleed through so i'll put in my clean workout clothes um in here and then when i'm done i'll put my wet ones in and i shower at work twice a week so i do this process twice a week actually i should have an amazon delivery here soon that i'll share with you i'm updating my locker at work so i got some stuff um but yeah these are nice i would say if you had um soaking wet clothes in it it would leak through but if you just have like damp clothes you're fine so i usually will just throw it the when it's full in here and it's fine there is a zipper pocket here a big pocket here and then i like that there is this fabric so i can have my work laptop and my work planner and notes and all that stuff that i bring back and forth and then there are pockets here on the side that you could put water bottles or something in and i love that there is a ring so you can hang actually i have a set of work keys in here so cute right so cute um so I do like to hang them here and then I'll put my car keys and stuff here as well so then I'm not always having to dig through the purse for all that stuff so my work bag always sits right there um so I'll link that it's so cute they have a bunch of different colors as well I was looking at like leather bags or more expensive bags and the truth of the matter is like I'm rough on stuff <laughs> so I need something durable and I'm also like live that budget life so I want something budget friendly so this this is nice and it's such a beautiful color for fall honestly not too bad all of this mess was from yesterday to be honest with you um because those clothes I wore yes those shoes I wore yesterday those clothes I cycled between um I showed you the new bra and the new sweatshirt these clothes just fell out of this basket up here when I was looking for my shorts. So that's what I really want to go through. Those two bins, but particularly the one here with the shorts and pants. And then this just needs to be tidied. It won't take very long. And then this also needs to be tidied. Um, stuff I just need to put it. I'm trying to be better about putting away messes when I create them. But obviously we're not 100% there yet. Um, and then I'll put that carpet cleaner down that we got from Target and give this floor a good vacuum because you know I work out in here the dogs lay in here it's just a lot of a lot of activity all right y'all a lot of activity I spoke about these bras in my last video but I wanted to share with you so this one is from Amazon for $23 99 here's what the front and back looks like i okay this is wild i got my um bra fitted or measured from nordstrom about uh six months ago and i wear a 
30 for um, triple D? Triple D? Let me double check that. 34 triple D. So sports bras are hard if they're not sized like that. If they're just like this is small, medium, large, extra large. So it's hard to know exactly what size I wear because triple D is often not listed. Um, but I ordered it in an extra large and it's just slightly too big. Not big enough that I feel like I need to send it back, but maybe I'll try a large next time. But this is so comfortable. The only thing is there is like a strong seam here. So it is going to show through your clothes, but I do like that the um, pad is sewn in. I will show you... Uh, one of my other favorite Amazon bras. I have this one in almost every color. I think these are about um, 36, 34 to 36. The price changes a little bit. Um, but these are sold by the cup size, I believe. Or, no, that's not right. Because it says medium plus. But they have a sizing chart that is very good. And so I picked medium size uh, medium plus based off their size chart, but it's this brand and I love this one. Oh, here it is on here as well. So like I said, I have it in every color just about, and I like that it has these nice thick straps and then it's crisscrossed in the back and then it has a normal bra closure on it. And I've worn these bras for a few months. I've washed them a lot. I do hang my bras and workout clothes in general. I hang them up to dry, so I do not put them in the dryer. This also has sewn-in bra, which is really nice. Um, my only... I have two complaints about this bra. It's nothing to do with how it fits or how it supports, because it supports really well. But it's that it's a V-cut, so I feel like I can always see this under shirts, whereas like a normal line will like kind of be covered up by whatever tank top you're wearing. So that kind of bothers me. And then the seams, you can see those through your shirts. So, I mean, those would be the two cons, but they are so comfortable and my like chest is lifted and supported and I feel good wearing them so I feel like those are minor things to worry about but yeah those are good so I showed you then the seven dollar one from Walmart the Avea brand again it has the sewn in pads which I love this is going to be more of a light to medium support bra but this has that neck I was talking about where it's going to like hide under tank tops you're not going to be able to see it just like the other um, I almost said Costco Amazon one but this one has those seams so this one truly is seamless like you're not going to really see it underneath um, your clothes. My my only complaint about this one is a size medium. Um, it fits just right. Like I could use a little bit more room, but going up to a large, I think is going to be too big. So the sizing I think is a little interesting. So I don't really know. They don't have like a size chart on how it works. It just says medium eight to ten. Um, oh, I said it was seven dollars, but it's thirteen ninety eight. Why did I think it was? I think they have other ones that are seven. So I think it's worth the $13.98. I obviously haven't worked out in it yet, but um, it's really cute and I think that's a really nice price. So just thought I'd share those. All right, I'm gonna have to charge my camera soon. So I probably won't show the whole process, but I will definitely come back and uh, maybe we can go through the pants and stuff together but I'm gonna do the rest off camera so that it can charge for a little while plus you guys have seen me fold my towels for quite a bit this week <laughs> so I think we're good there yeah see all this just fell on the floor from that bin so that definitely needs to be addressed all right I'll be back all right, y'all, in our time away, which was like two seconds for you guys, um, I was organizing papers, so that was nice. I organized them. Morty slept on them. It was a 
pretty good partnership we had there. I got those few things in from Amazon, so I wanted to share them with you guys. So about six months ago when I started my job, we did a video together where I shopped my body care back stock, which I don't have that back stock anymore. I used it all up and we've mostly just been repurchasing as needed. Um, but we went through that back stock and I had most of the items I needed like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, that kind of thing. And then I had purchased a few things from Walmart. I had got a caddy, some shower shoes, and then like the moisturizer and stuff that I didn't have a backup of. So I've been using my system for about six months and just rotating in products as I run out of them. I only shower twice a week at work because I teach a class twice a week where I get really sweaty and there's just no, like not showering is not an option. There's no way around it basically. So um, I was been using that. I have a pretty good system, but those shower shoes are falling apart. Um, and they're like still doable, but one day I had a towel in there that was a, like a bright pink and it looked so pretty in there. <laughs> it was like visually so pleasing to see it be so vibrant when I looked in my locker. And I know this is kind of like weird to say maybe but I find that looking at a space that I use if it is visually pleasing or relaxing that that's almost like a form of self-care it might sound crazy so I had this idea my whole locker needs to be cute <laughs> my whole freaking locker needs to be cute so that's what um kind of spun this order i have three favorite colors green like this color green from the bag i showed you earlier pink but more so like this pale pink and then turquoise i don't have the color in here to show you guys but these colors are just so calming to me well water over here and they just make me really happy so i decided to go with a pink theme for the locker so the locker is pretty small. I'll take a picture before and after for you guys. Um, it's really small and that caddy takes up most of the room. And um, I saw Target yesterday has like smaller caddies that were $3. But they felt more flimsy. And even though it would have taken up less space, the one I have now, it works. It's nice and it feels sturdier than what the one at Target was. But I take that caddy in the shower with me, so obviously it's wet. So I like to put a towel down in my locker and then set the caddy on the towel so that as it dries, I'm like protecting the locker and also hopefully not creating too much of like a water sitting there, mold, mildew, mildew situation. So every time I go in there to shower, I replace the towel and then I bring home the other towel to wash and I just every time I do that. So I have one pink towel that's like a brighter pink actually it's right here because I already started putting my um stuff in here for work it's this color it's so pretty um I've had this for a really long time actually the first group fitness certification I ever went to they gave out these towels which was really random but I've been holding on to this thing for like eight nine years um so yeah that was the towel that really got all this going so I went on to Amazon and I was like, I want a couple of more towels. So I got this two pack from Amazon and um, I don't know what it says. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this is what they look like. Aren't they in their long? Aren't they so pretty? Like just a nice pale pink. And I like the little pattern that it has on it. And basically, it's just going to be folded in half, sitting on the shelf so that the caddy can sit on top of it. So this is perfect, but if you wanted to use it at home, it does have a hanging loop on it. And this is bigger than a normal, um, like, towel, like hand towel. So that's nice, and it would probably do well, like, to step on it when you get out of the shower. So I got two in this pack. 
and then it just like, came packaged like this. I'm not going to wash them just because I'm not using them on my body. They're just going to sit on that shelf and collect water. But if I was going to like use them on my body, I would wash them first. So we are going to use one of those. Well, I'll rotate them. So I'll have three to rotate. So no matter um, where I'm at with laundry, I'll be good for this. So that's the first thing I got. Then the caddy sits there, and then I have the shower shoes. There's two hooks in the locker, and I just hang the shoes on there to dry. But the ones I got are were not like shower shoes. They're just like flip-flops that I thought would work well. Um, but like all the fabric is just peeling off on top. So like the foam on the bottom is still okay, but the part that holds the foam on your feet is not well. <laughs> so I didn't realize that... Um, you could get actual shower shoes that have holes in them. I forgot to say those towels were like around $13 for both of them. These shower shoes were about $15. I did see a uh, Target because it's back to school has flip flops that have the holes that were only $5. But they didn't have pink or else I would have just sent these back and got those. But look, they have actual holes in them so that the water will run through and that also these will be quicker to dry in my locker. Um, they're just so cute and they're very light. They fit well um, and I just can't wait to use those. I guess there's not much more to say about that, but they make actual water shoes in case you didn't know. I don't think I had actual water shoes when I was in college. I think I probably just used flip flops. I didn't even know they made like with the holes in it. That's pretty cool. And then the last thing I got, totally not necessary, but you know, we were, we're creating a vibe here. Okay. Um, I do have like a bag, like a Ziploc bag that I reused from an Amazon order that is just holding little things like pads and um, what else is in there, contact solution, just little odds and ends like that. But I find since I put it in that Ziploc bag, I don't use it because I, I just don't visually see what's in it, so I just don't think about it. So I was like, well, let me get a clear pink bag. And this one is so nice because it's short. So it's going to sit on top of that caddy so nicely um, and the items will fit perfectly and I'll always be able to see what is in them and it zips all the way around and opens up and then everything can sit in there. I love this so much. I think it is so cute that I like almost, I'm not saying I'm going to because I think this was... I don't remember how much this was. Probably in that $12 range. I really want to get one to put my everyday makeup in. But I don't need it because my system now is perfect. But I just think this is so freaking cute. So I'm going to take that and put in those odds and ends so I can visually see them. But then they still match the whole aesthetic that we are trying to achieve with all of this pink stuff. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I think it's so important to create a space that you love and you can do it on a budget because this stuff total was $36. So I mean, it is a lot, but if you have a few extra dollars, like totally just create a vibe that you enjoy looking at, even if it's a small work locker. I'm just, I'm excited. Okay, you knew as soon as that thought popped in my head, I had to go try it out. This is the bag I just showed you guys. And oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look how nice everything fits in there. And then it fits right here in this space so nice. What I was using or currently using is this. And this honestly is more practical with the space because I can just grab things out. Let me scoop this done a little bit. There we go. This fits perfect and it's easier for me to just grab things out. So I don't need it there, but it's perfect if I did. And I just wanted you guys to see it with makeup in case you wanted something like this for yourself. In case you haven't seen this before, this is my everyday makeup 
are my Makeup Basket Express. So this is what it looks like with the container in. So it's just so easy to grab things and put them back. So let me know. Do I need to have it? Just to have some options in here or should I just keep it minimal? Let me know. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Look, okay. <clears throat> Organizing really overwhelms me. Stuff overwhelms me. It's kind of like I'm in this middle of like, I should be a minimalist, but I love stuff. I'm trying to live in the middle, you know? I think most of us do, actually. But, uh, so I can't, I can't do too much today. I can only do like little chips away. So we're only going to do one, one bin. One bin only. <laughs> That's all I can emotionally handle here. Uh, Jared is going to be here soon. So excited from his mom's. <sighs> Can't wait. So he takes Lily with him when he goes up. Uh, she gets a big yard. You're crooked. Hold on. Alright. Uh, Jared's mom lives on land. So Lily. Whew, whew, whew. Oh, she runs it. She runs it hard. So, uh, she always goes up with him because she loves going up there. Plus, it's kind of a lot to deal with two dogs. I mean, I can make it work, but there's no reason. Like, why work harder when he likes having her? I mean, I love her too, but he likes having her there. She loves being up there. It's kind of like her little escape. So then Morty and I just hang, uh, little baby, until, you know, they get back. So this, can you see? Let me take you up a little bit. So this is the bin here that we're going to do this one and there's one over here that you can't see just have sweatshirts so um don't not going to do those but then sometimes when I can't decide if I want to get rid of something I'll just tuck it in places so we need to make a decision about that. Um, but let me pull this down. This has jeans, shorts, sweatpants. Morty safe. Morty safe. We're good. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Shorts, biker shorts. There's truly a lot. Here's another tank top. Okay, I think that was all that was really hiding out in there. All right, so those two have sweatshirts. More of my fall stuff. But I need to check the weather for next week. It's still not cooling off enough to wear that stuff. Um, this, uh, not today, not today. Um, not today, okay, all right, just the pants. All right, weather for next week. Yeah, it's 85 today. Wow, actually, it's gonna be in the low 60s all next week. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, that's the low. Hold on. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> no, it's going to be in the 80s. So, it's mid to low 80s, but still, um, yeah. Mm -mm. Well, for this bin, um, last, the end of winter, I guess it was, or maybe right before winter, I still had clothes that I was holding on to for when I worked in education that I finally just let go of. But I held on to some things because I was like, maybe I'll wear it, blah, blah, blah. Um, and some of those things I might still hold on to. But um, there are also some clothes in here that don't fit very well. Like they fit if I'm standing and not really moving. But if I move or sit, they it's just not cute, you know? And... I just held on to them for so long, but I was watching an old Sarah Vargas video where she was decluttering her closet, and she said, and I quote, just because you can put it on doesn't mean it fits. And that, that's that right here in my heart. <laughs> I was like, yes, that is so true. So I want clothes that like, not only I can put them on, but they fit. So I have some biker shorts from Ari that I've had for a couple of years and I still love them they still fit well so I am of course gonna keep those recently I paid <laughs> I paid some money for these Abercrombie curvy pants and I do really like them I got them at the end of fall I believe and I just or maybe into winter sorry and I just haven't you know heat wise been able to wear them but we're definitely going to keep those 
Um, okay. These shorts I have had for a couple of years and I do really like them. I don't even know what brand they are. Jared's mom um, likes to online shop and when she buys the wrong size, instead of sending it back, she gives it to me or one of his sisters. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> I get stuff from her. But those are really nice. I have these leggings that are from Costco and they're nice and thick so I'm going to keep those. Alright, these pants, I have a couple of pants that I got from American Eagle. Ooh, Jared's home. Oh, Lily girl, hi. Marisa, hello. It's Labor Day weekend. I tell the vlog how much you missed me. Count the ways. Ooh, focus. Time seemed to just stand still. <laughs> Week took forever. Actually, I stayed busy. Mm hmm. So that made it kind of quick, but it's not as fun going to sleep by yourself. Mm-hmm. We had Lily Jean. Yeah. She's opinionated, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's this for? Uh, just a day in the life. Okay. Just hanging out. I told him you were gone, but you're coming back today. You did pretty good here. You like the food that I put in the house? Yeah, I got my grapefruits and I got my, my chicken salad. I got my black ham. Okay. Y'all, well, they got to see the Walmart haul. I told them I got all that stuff for you. Except the chicken salad, I don't think I had a glory. That's okay. That's all right. Great. But you see that pumpkin spice creamer? Right there. Right there. Right there. And pumpkin spice coffee. Isn't that exciting? Well, it is fall. Fall, y'all. Fall, y'all. Oh, and then oh, we have. Really Ooh, they feel juicy. I put them in the fridge so that they may survive. Oh, that's a good idea. And then we got the party size thing. Party size. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you do that as much anymore. Yeah. But I, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so when Jared's gone, Morty sleeps on his side of the bed. Like, how do I? <laughs> here's Jared, here's me, typically, all right? So when Jared's gone, I still stay on my side. Morty, this way. <laughs> so like his whole body takes up probably his horizontally instead of vertically yes it takes up like maybe the width of jared's body and that's how he sleeps see mom i'm just as big <laughs> as he is <laughs> so i told jared that uh there's gonna be some changes now morty doesn't know where you're he's gonna, gonna sleep. sleep on the floor no <laughs> uh -huh. hi lily girl will you get to run outside uh -huh. did you run outside where's her bandana she lost it Oh, I didn't even notice that. Girl, what'd you do with it? Huh? What'd you do with it? Hmm? I probably lost it on one of her little romps. Did you give it to a deer? My mom would be, Jerry, I'm gonna take Lily out. Uh-huh. Like a half hour later, I, I hear on the door. <laughs> Actually, it hasn't been that long. She. She, 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 she behaves herself. Mm-hmm. I told him Lily goes because she gets to live her best life outside. Um, I have their flea and pig she stuff. She looks like so she needs to be brushed, yeah. Yeah. Where's your, where's your bandana? Where's your pretty girl bandana? 
Hmm? Is she supposed to be in the chat? Yeah, is she? No. She's like, girl, okay, girl, what? What? Morty. Morty just wants to do it, That's all Morty's trying to do over here.